Hi, it's Scott Thistle with Brookstone Homes. I'm here with Jeff Lang from Dave Jones Plumbing. How are you doing, Jeff? Pretty good, thanks. Good. So we're here looking at the uh, the York furnace here. This is what we put in almost all our houses in the state of Wisconsin. Can you tell us a little bit about this furnace? Yeah, what we have here is a 95% efficient furnace. Uh, it's a forced air furnace, I, I take it, right? Yeah. So what, is that, what does that mean, really? Well, what that means is we have a, there's a 1200 CFM blower motor that's taking the cold air and it's bringing it through our heat exchanger once it all gets warmed up and sends it through the duct work through the house. So there's actual, I mean, there's actual elements inside the furnace that, that heat up. I mean, those are like, they look like strips and what do they look like? It's a heat exchanger, I guess? Correct. Yeah, it's aluminum tubes that uh, when the gas gets, and everything gets lit up and the gas goes through and the fire goes through those tubes and it glows orange inside. And Great. So, I mean, the, the main, this is a gas furnace, which is, I think, evidence by sort of the gas line that goes into the furnace here, but the main thing about this furnace, obviously, is, is it obviously is it has gas to the furnace. It has some um, uh, heating exchange unit in there that actually heats up. You push air across that, and then that puts the hot air out to the house. Is that is that a good description of what yeah, goes on? Perfect. Okay, good. So what's involved in, in living with this furnace every day? Well, there's not a whole lot. Basically, you have a filter right here that you need to change every couple months. You know, you just take it out, you look at it, and it's clean, you can see through it. You know, hold it up to the light and everything, and if it's good, Put it back. Are, are there arrows or, or something on those things to tell you which way to install? Yeah, there is on most of them. On the ends, it tells you which way the airflow is going, so the airflow always goes towards the furnace. How do you know? How do you know which way the proper airflow is? I mean, if you're, you know, towards the furnace, I guess. This is your so return, and the air is always coming back, returning to the furnace, so that it's down and in. So it's just pretty logical. I mean, the air comes through here, runs across the filter, and back into the furnace. Correct. Yes. Okay. So what? What can a dirty Filter. What kind of problems can a dirty filter cause? It'll shut your furnace down. It will go off on high limit. Because mm. it doesn't. It doesn't get enough air. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Jeff, you know, I noticed that there's these two pipes here. What can you tell us a little bit about what those pipes are about? Yeah. This is a sealed combustion furnace. You have an intake and you have an exhaust. Everything stays within the cabinet of the furnace. Um, that way, you have no carbon dioxide coming out. So this, I mean, so the exhaust goes sort of directly to, to the outside. Correct. Right. So in the old days when they put furnaces, did, did they have this type of situation? No, it was, that's where your 95% rating was. Your old ones were 80 and it was just to going out your flue and most of those heat loss. Yeah, a lot of times it went up the chimney, right? Yeah, correct. And, and so the, the, the real issue there is a the safety factor because without having a sealed combustion chamber, I mean, you're, you're really subjecting the occupants of the house to carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, right? Correct, because the old pipes used to rust and rot and then you didn't know it yet. Great. Yeah, okay. This will not. But Jeff, I mean, I, I come home from work one day and the furnace is not working. What do I do? Well, you can come downstairs and there's an LED light down here in this little window. And Green is good, amber it's running, red, there's a problem. And from there, you could open it up, your door, just to speed up the process when you call our office. And it, how many times that light's blinking tells kind of what's going on here. And so there, there are just error codes that are listed on there. If it's blinking amber three times, it'll tell you probably what's wrong. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you should know, you should probably know that there's power to the unit, right? What's the easiest way? I mean, is there an uh, emergency cutoff switch for this? Yes, for this furnace? that's right on the side here, and it says furnace. Yeah, so I mean, I, I've got young kids, so there's a good chance they could click that off somehow when they're down here playing soccer. So Correct. probably that would be a simple thing to start with. Yeah. Right? What yeah. about the breaker box? Can you trip breakers occasionally on the furnace? It shouldn't. There's surely no reason for a breaker to trip. Okay, so I mean, it's a lot of things. Is, you know, check the switch. Make sure the switch is on. Would be the first thing. Yeah, and then look at your filter. Yeah, look at your filter. Make sure that's clean. Because this will shut off if the filter gets so dirty that the the furnace is not getting enough air. It will shut Correct. down on its own. Correct. Right? As a state.